Thanks. Today, the Kansas Department of Health and Environment announced the state Medicaid program known as CanCare will now cover doula services. We caught up with the Topeka Doula Project to hear how much the change helps. Beginning July 1st, the Kansas Department of Health and Environment says doulas will be recognized as non-physician providers under the CanCare program. So we had to do a lot of capacity building grants and grants to fund doulas. So for a while, for the last two years, I was the sole doula of Topeka Doula Project until I was able to get some grant funds to help pay people what they should be paid as a doula. And so because of that, I've been able to roll out some new doulas. And so what this does is gives us um, it gives us a bit of a livable wage. Executive Director of the Topeka Doula Project, Abriana Markham, says the funds will provide crucial support to the most vulnerable, expecting teens, incarcerated mothers, and even unsheltered mothers through every step of their pregnancy. I always tell my clients, because you're pregnant, it matters. Um, and so regardless if that's food insecurity, um, being able to get to the doctor's offices, um, like getting a bus pass. Um, it allows us to expand our services so that we can help um, fill in those gaps that are not necessarily pregnancy related. KDHE says the policy change aims to provide maternal health outcomes by offering continuous and personalized care through different types of doula services. Markham says she currently has five community doulas in Topeka with hopes to add more. You can't take what Missouri is doing or Colorado is doing or any other state and say, hey, this is what they're doing, we should do it. Ask the people who are living here, ask the Kansans. Um, my goal um, for this is that, yes, we are here in Shawnee County, um, but to make sure that um, we put our stamp wherever we can. So if this looks like, with this Medicaid rollout, if this means Topeka Doula Project can, be some, can become something bigger and able to access doulas in Riley County and Gary County and things like that, um, I'm excited to do so. And Markham says if you are expecting or in need of items like diapers, clothing, or breast pumps, you can stop by her office to pick them up for free. All she asks is for your zip code and the number of members in your household. And you can follow the Topeka Doula Project on Facebook.